Throughout history, people created many mysterious things. The Egyptian pyramids, Stonehenge, the Nazca Lines, the new premium tank Sherman M4A1, Revelorisse. Another unusual tank has been added to the family of French combat vehicles. There's been the AMX CDC, the 1357, and now the Revelorisse. It was based on the American M4 Sherman and used by the Israeli army. So why is it in the French tech tree? It's simple. Its main advantage is its 105 millimeter gun, developed in French foundries. Let's find out what this vehicle is and how it should be played. In battle, this tank won't become a primary target for the enemy team at first. It has a high and stately hull, a strange turret, huge tracks, and a long gun. It has the effect of a peacock's tail. The opponents will need a second to think about the wonder before them, but it won't be long before the unusual look of the French tank stops surprising them. And then you'll need to apply all your survival skills. This tank has better armor than the AMX CDC, but it's still paper thin, even if it's ridged. Another drawback is its engine power. The tank only accelerates up to 40 kilometers per hour. In difficult situations, the chassis traverse speed can help, 40 degrees per second. Outmaneuvering this Frenchman is not an easy task. To get the best results in battle, you need to remember some techniques that will help you survive longer and earn more credits. First of all, don't rely on your armor. With less than 40 millimeters in its sides and a bit more than 60 millimeters in its turret, it will only be effective against snowballs. A couple of hits from HE shells and the Sherman, with its 1,400 hit points, will become a pile of smoking wreckage. Secondly, don't rush to the front line. This French vehicle is a support tank. Although its view range is 390 meters, you're better off staying even further away. Let allies spot your targets for you. Its gun may aim not too quickly, but it has a decent accuracy of 0.36 meters per 100 meters. It's quite convenient for aiming at the vulnerable parts of impenetrable Tier 10 vehicles. Slightly over 1,800 average damage per minute is not the highest, but it will be enough if you play carefully. Thirdly, ambush. Ambush, and again, ambush. The Revelorisse is a combination of a medium tank and an anti-tank self-propelled gun. This is one of the few premium vehicles with good alpha damage. With its decent armor penetration of 200 millimeters, you can beat 390 hit points out of an enemy vehicle. For a tier eight vehicle, those are good stats. But of course, you'll have to face higher tier opponents. In this case, heat shells with their higher armor penetration of 250 millimeters will come in handy. Playing on the city map, the Revelorisse must be extremely careful. You shouldn't rush into the very thick of the action. Stay behind your heavy allies and catch your opponents while they're reloading. Try to make the most of your high damage per shot and keep your own hit points safe for as long as possible. In open terrain, ambush tactics and firing on vehicles spotted by allies work the best. The Revelorisse's gun elevation angles are not suited for playing in the hills, and you shouldn't skirmish with enemy tanks there. It's better to take an observation position and catch careless opponents who enter your spotting range. Although this French medium tank is the ugly duckling, in skillful hands, it can become a beautiful swan and peck the enemy hard. And keep in mind that the Revelorisse is a premium vehicle. All the drawbacks of playing it are compensated for with the huge number of credits and crew experience per battle. Watch the videos from experienced players to learn more about how to play at the Revelorisse. Good luck on the battlefield.